All right, hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mia Sin, and this is gonna be so freaking fun, man. It's going to be a deck review on Crusadia Dragon Link, and you might actually be a bit shocked by how this deck actually functions because I was actually really surprised by what kind of, I guess, boards it was able to do. And also, it doesn't care about Nibiru, man. There's basically like a two-card combo that you can do that is just pretty nice. Well, I mean, I don't think it's a two-card combo, actually. I think it's a three-card combo. But still, uh, wait, it, it might be a two-card combo, but that relies on actual... Uh Ah, draws. I already spoiled it, man. Maybe the Scaldit might actually have to get something, but it's not too specific. And before we start, man, friendly reminder to like, subscribe, check the Discord server so you can uh, submit your deck list for a deck review. And now let's get into it. So also shoutouts to uh, my homie who actually sent this Crusadia Dragon Link deck. Anyways, we have Chaos Dragon Lavinir. I mean, of course, it's Dragon Link. <laughs> a Galactic Spiral Dragon. Now, the first thing that I notice is that you're actually not playing the bear guy who actually draws three, but you're playing Harbinger instead. So, this card, you might not even want to use it for the effect to actually bump everything to level 8, but rather just as a free extender that you can pitch with Ravine, and that is definitely A-OK, -okay. so Galactic Spiral Dragon is a pretty nice card. Uh, Parallel Exceed, definitely also really freaking broken. I mean, as a matter of fact, a Crusadia monster with Parallel Exceed is basically kind of just full combo. That 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 was it, because your summon number 5 is going to be the Rafflesia, which can actually just send the Grave Digger's Hole so you can counter Nibiru, and then you have the full Crusadia combo, you have Needle Fiber Plays, Crusadia Draco for Guard Dragon LP. This deck has a bunch of plays at its disposal. Alright, Absol Router Dragon, you only need one. We're not talking about like 60 card Dragon Link, so this is very respectable. Artifact Lancia, I already said how I didn't really like Lancia on the main deck anymore, so I don't actually think this is too great. And Quackimeru Drago, uh, would I actually play this in the main deck or in the side deck? That is the thing. To be fair, it is still pretty good against Eldritch. They can't you. Oh my god, it's actually so broken against Eldritch. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, keep uh, Drago in the main deck. It's it's okay. Even if you get Dark Ruler, by the way, or Forbidden Dropped, you're still good because your Hieratic Seal, even negated, is still an interruption. You can tribute itself and then still summon the Drago. And if your opponent obviously can't special summon, usually they don't really play normal summons. So they won't actually be able to jump over this card. And that's actually kind of huge. Anyways, <laughs> Black Dragon, Collapse Serpent, and White Dragon, the obviously the babies. Two Rocket Tracer, man. This is a trend or something? I'm missing out on something? Everyone's playing two Rocket Tracer instead of three. So I guess this card might not be as good as I actually thought. Three Crusadia Maximus with three Drake. 3 Arborea, but no Leonis and no, uh, uh, oh my god, the, the best one actually, almost the best one, the one that actually pops a card your opponent controls by like destroying 2 cards, and then if you have Arborea in the graveyard, you can banish it to protect yourself. The Reclusia, yes, I would be playing Reclusia in this deck, I feel like, because it allows you to break through boards going second and play through, uh, there can only be one, and I really do feel like it makes sense, but it is a fire attribute, so it might not exactly be what you're looking for, you might actually want some light and dark attributes so you can make plays with Leviniers and other stuff but I still I don't know I still feel like Reclusia deserves to be played but again I could actually be wrong anyways uh, Rocket Recharger and DMZ Dragon uh, I am not going, going to only be showcasing a deck profile with this I'm also going to be showcasing a combo because when this guy actually submitted the deck list it was also with a combo video and the combo is going to be absolutely sick so anyways DMZ Dragon can also allow you to keep extending with the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, so uh, pretty nice plays there. DD Crew in the main deck, I also don't really get it, I feel like Ash should be a bit better. You can kind of cover a bit more things, but I, I mean, I guess it's just, I don't think it's optimal. Even Gamma makes the most sense. You can get Ashed on Quick Launch or Chaos Space and then go Gamma and you win from there. Omni Dragon Brotor, the Format Skipper, you're searching Parallel Exceed by making a Link 1. Yeah, you can reveal Crusadia Ma Magius and then make Magius and then search Parallel Exceed. It's just that you won't be able to summon the Parallel Exceed right away because you're searching it after you actually Link Summon, so that's the issue with Format Skipper. And then one for one, a Reinforcement of the Army. Foolish Burial, uh, Reinforcement of the Army is searching for what exactly? Uh, Crusader Arborea, that's it? I mean, I don't think it's super worth it, so yeah, I mean, I don't know, you're only really searching one card, unless I'm missing something, Foolish Burial is pretty nice usually, but again, what are you searching? You're only foolishing for Absol Router, I think? Or you're maybe foolishing also for- yeah, no, Foolish Burial doesn't really sound too great here. I guess also Galactic Spiral Dragon, but Ravine is searchable, so you're- don't, don't need to make too much effort for that, but still, I kind of get it. And then 3 Chaos Space, 3 Quick Launch, 1 World Legacy Guard Dragon, 1 Boot Sector. 
One Ravine and one Gravedigger's Old. All right, now let's get into the extra deck. So, Burl of Savage, Harbinger, Rafflesia, Burl Sword, Skull Deep, Needle Fiber, Romulus, Quad Burl. This is involved in the combo. Spatha. This is a completely different combo when you have, I think, less resources to play with and you can't really make the Skull Deep really early and then make the Guard Dragon combo. So, this makes sense. Hieratic Seal, obviously, is one of the interruptions in how you get to Kraki Meru Drago. And then PST Double Striker Dragon. Double Striker, but one uh, Boot Sector. Okay, sure. Uh, because the second one is actually involved in the combo. So the second one is summoned on turn one, not even get you in, getting you a, a field spell because the search effect is once per turn anyways. And then LP and Magius. Makes sense again. And then for the side deck, I guess, this doesn't really look like a fully completed side deck anyways. It's kind of like all, under, all over the place. So Driver and the Gamma, which I feel like should be in the main deck anyways. So definitely cut those three crows and, well, I mean, permanently cut the three crows and then put Lancia in the side deck instead. Pancratops is a great one. Aether, I don't agree with this. I think Krakimero Drago is enough. And then 3 Ash also should be in the main deck, preferably, or just not at all, since you're playing a combo deck anyways. And then 3 H Runade, I kind of like this, but it doesn't really return back face-up cards, so Floodgates are still going to be there, and that is kind of a bummer. Called by the Grave should also potentially either be main decked or not played whatsoever. And then 3 Twin Twister, do you really think the Twin Twister is the best? Or would you play Lightning Storm, Cosmic Cyclone, Evenly? Uh, and also, I see... Twin Twister, but no Harpy's Feather Duster. So I think, I'm just going to assume that he forgot, but Harpy's Feather Duster obviously is always, it always has the priority in all kinds of anti-opponent back road cards that you want to play. So definitely play at least one Duster and then three Lightning Storm, three Cyclone or something like that. And then the Red Reboot, obviously that makes a lot of sense. So that's it for this beautiful deck list of Crusadia. Now let's actually go into the combo video. All right, all right. So basically look at what you can do with this replay. Crusadia are Arborea, and then Parallel Exceed. He still has three other cards in the hand. I mean, Brotor isn't the best card to draw anyways, right? And then you're obviously, oh, this is nasty. Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, gonna get a search and a special summon from your deck, and then Rafflesia. So Nibiru, come at me. I'm just going to negate you, and you take 2,000. And now you're pretty much, uh, pretty, you're free to go, man. Needle Fiber, obviously, summon the Buster Dragon, the Star Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. LP, summon DMZ Dragon, and then, oh, this is nasty. Your special summon back? DMZ is so much better than you might actually think it is, huh? And so obviously Skaldeet, blah blah blah. Going to now summon the Brotor, alright. At the target, discards to search for the Levineer. So this can actually make your opponent lose one card. And then Pisty, revive back DMZ Dragon. At this point, I think you're going to go for... Okay, oh wow, Romulus right away. Okay, sure. Uh, Dragon's Ravine. It's crazy how he didn't use the effect of Rocket Tracer. So he can summon all those non-dark monsters. And then Galactic Spiral Dragon. The... So this actually... Uh, banished for three dark monsters, so you make your opponent lose one card. So on top of all the negates that this is going to end up doing, it also makes your opponent lose one card, so don't forget about that. It's just that he didn't show the replay against someone, but yeah, the Levineer indeed would have triggered, which makes the combo even better than it already is. And at this point, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, on top of Harbinger, Aflesia, and the freaking Hieratic Seal, and we're not done yet, of course, man. Borlode Savage is next, and I think this is going to be over, but this is still absolutely beautiful, man absolutely gorgeous to look at. You have five cards in hand. You're going to, from four cards to five cards and you're going up against two interruptions because this can summon Quakimero Drago and the Harbinger can protect the Drago from being attacked over. And then you have a third interruption, a fourth interruption, a fifth interruption, and a sixth interruptions. So six interruptions against five cards in hand. Merry Christmas. So <laughs> that's pretty much it for this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Crusadia Dragon Link combo and deck review. If you guys have any comments or feedback or your own deck list that you want to review make sure to visit the discord server for you know your submissions and that's pretty much it thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe all the beautiful package and i will see you next time peace